Welcome to the Grammar Police 1.5 and later installation and configuration video. There are some pretty significant changes in version 1.5 that felt warranted a new video. So here we go. The installation is still the same. You open up your RAR file that you download, go into the Grammar Police folder, Grand Theft Auto 5, and you're just going to copy all of these into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory on your computer. You'll probably get some requests to overwrite. You just accept them. Grammar Police was written in such a way as to use custom and default files. So you don't have to worry about going into all the individual folders and copying just certain things because Grammar Police isn't going to overwrite anything that you're using if you've set it up correctly. So if you're watching other YouTubers and they're like, go into this directory and go in, you don't have to do that. Just copy the four and copy them over. The only possible question mark is this Rage Native UI. I do update it when a new version comes out. So normally you can just copy it as well. Um, it's unlikely that you've got a newer version, but in the in the rare event that you a new version of Rage Native UI has come out and I haven't updated Grammar Police with it yet, you may already have a newer version of this. Otherwise, you always want to grab these three. And that's all it takes to install Grammar Police. That's it. So let me show you how to configure Grammar Police. Go into the Plugins LSPDFR Grammar Police folder. Now, notice I've already got a custom to INI. If you've never installed Grammar Police before, you won't have one of those. If you're upgrading from an older version of Grammar Police, you may already have one. So for 1.5, the INI file has changed. So my recommendation is to rename this. Now, a lot of people get confused because they only see default and custom, and that's because they've got file extensions hidden. So you might see something that looks like this, where it just says default and custom. So I renamed this to custom.ini.old, so it will no longer be picked up. And I'm going to take the default and copy it paste it and rename this to custom. Again, if you've got your file extensions aren't hidden, then you'll see the .ini. But if they are hidden, you won't see that. That seems to trip some people up. Copy the default, paste it to a custom, and then let's modify the custom. Now, since this is our custom file, we can delete these two lines. This is not the default file, these are the custom file. So if you want to configure Grammar Police, you're going to do it in your custom.ini. You can make a lot of these changes from in game, but I'll use this opportunity to go through the INI file and explain what all the options mean. Notice that the INI file has sections now. This is new in 1.5. I apologize for in any inconvenience for a long time. Grammar Police users, but it was getting to a point where there were so many entries that it made sense to start splitting them up by sections. So I don't anticipate ever doing this to you again, but your old custom INI is not going to work anymore if you're upgrading. So the call sign language are the same. Uh, this is a new feature in Grammar Police 1.5 agency codes, and I will show you the folders in a second, but what this means is you can have a different default set of phrases. The options are generic, met, California, and immersive. And what that does is that puts different default 10 and 11 codes or state codes for met into the game by default. So generic, it's just going to be the phrases that you're used to. But if you do immersive, 1023 might mean something. Or if you do California, 1023 might mean something else. And there's a phrase guide included in the documentation that I will show you. So let's leave this generic for now. But for example, if you wanted to use the, the existing immersive dispatch codes, you would just change this to immersive. Enable speech recognition. So some people are used to the old officer status plugin uh, plugin. So if you only want to use the, the Grammar Police 1.5 has menus now. So if you only want to use the menus, you never want to use speech recognition. 
you can actually turn it off and it won't even try to load the speech engine. Now, if you have this is true and the speech engine is unable to load, the rest of Grammar Police should still work, but this is only if you explicitly want to disable it. The controls refers to the specific controls like the, the PTT key, you know, dispatch key. By the way, our menu is the right alt key. That's by far the number one question we get asked. The reason I went with our menu is because that's what Vocals Dispatch used to use. So I have no great affinity for the alt key. It's just a holdover. But our menu is right alt. I don't know why Microsoft named it that. The interface is the new on-screen interface I was talking about. So by default, left control F3 will bring it up. Um, and then left control F2 is still how you can change your settings in game. So Grammar Police 1.5 now has hotkeys for various things. Um, if there's if there's a hot key that you desperately want that I did not include, you can go ahead and come onto the Discord server and beg for it. Um, and if other people want it too, then, then maybe they'll make it into the next version. But for now, these are the things you can set a hotkey for. All the hotkeys share one modifier. So if this is set, you know, it's set for all of them or if it's not set, it's not set for any of them. So you can set a busy status, you know, a clear status, the no key, the yes key, on scene, etc., a panic. Um, and then you can control traffic, which is a new feature of 1.5 via a hotkey. Buttons are if you want to use a controller. And the, the values that we use for these in the keys are in the documentation. And I will show you where the documentation folder is. The display is for the little uh, status display that shows up. Also, whether or not you want to show the standard you know, notifications that come up on the left there that are part of LSPDFR. Target plate, that's an old feature that when you press the PTT key, it can change your, if you have uh, player status enabled, um, and it is disabled by default, but if you want it, if it's enabled and you have show target plate enabled, then it will change the target plate. Uh, it will change the display to show you the target plate whenever you press the PTT key. And this is just how you, where you want it sitting on the screen. PTT, uh, the only real change here is this uh, preface response. So it used to be that it was a enable or disable, whether you could, res whether you, the dispatcher would respond to just a preface. And preface is like dispatch or, you know, one link 18, just the intro to the phrase. If you say just the preface, you can now control how the dispatcher will respond to you. Uh, if this is set to zero, and you can hear the different audios in game if you go into the in game settings and adjust these, but uh, zero, I think, is, is no response. And then, you know, there's go ahead, like from Immersive Dispatch, there's this is Dispatch, which is the Grammar Police one. And I think I even added a one like, you know, one like 18 or whatever your call sign is, uh, the dispatcher will say it. So immersion are some of the new features that are brought over from Immersive Dispatch. Uh, actually, enable jail waypoint. Waypoint is just a new feature outright. It's similar to I think stop the ped if you have a, a ped in custody or. But if you say uh, returning to station, if you give a returning to station status, and this is set to true, it'll create a waypoint to the nearest jail. Enable traffic stop. So this will enable a, an immersive dispatch traffic stop environment. And that's where when you say you're, you know, you, uh, show me on a traffic stop, dispatcher will be like, go ahead. Then you're like, I've got a sedan occupied four times. Do you want backup? That kind of stuff. Handle death is new. Uh, it will do a code, basically a code four when you die. So <laughs> I put that in there because as I was testing grammar police, I kept getting killed and I was, you know, I'd, respawn as a on traffic stop status. That didn't seem right. Officer check interval comes from immersive dispatch. Now zero means it's turned off, but anything between one through 10, I believe is the uh, range is in minutes. How often the dispatcher will prompt you when you're on scene or in a traffic stop to make sure you're okay. It'll ask you for a status. 
So if this is set to five, every five minutes, it'll ask if you're okay. You can say cancel checks and they'll stop asking you. You can say yes and it'll ask you five more minutes. Um, or you can say no and it'll, it'll give you backup. If it doesn't hear from you, then it'll ask you again. And then if it still doesn't hear for you, it'll, it'll eventually send backup automatically. Use generic response is um, if grammar police doesn't understand you, normally it'll say, it'll pop up a little window saying, say again. Uh, but if you have this set to true, then it'll just say copy. It'll pretend like it heard you. All right, so backup panic response. So grammar police in 1.5 now uses ultimate backups panic by default, um, which you can disable. I'll show you that under use native, but um, if you are using the native panic, then this controls how many police will get sent when you issue a panic. Traffic control radius and traffic control speed it controls the new traffic control. Now this is not stop the pets. It's similar to stop the pets feature. There's no interface to that one. So I had to put in my own, but it, it functions the same way. You can either stop or slow traffic around you. Um, and if you slow it, this will, the speed will control how slow it goes and the radius is how far around you it's affected. And you'll be able to see it on the mini map. It puts a little blip down for the area that is under control. And then they'll offer backups. Um, when these are set to true, the dispatcher will offer backup in those cases. So, you know, if you off, offer backup error set to true, then when you say, you know, requesting error support, dispatcher will ask if you want backup and then they'll add pursuit backup if you say yes. Um, if you transport uh, suspect custody, if you have, you know, have one in custody, they'll ask if you want to transport. And if you say yes, then the transport will show up. All of these you can disable, of course, if you don't want to use them. And they're actually off by default. You'll need to turn them on if you want to use them. Pit remains unchanged if you're requesting a pit maneuver. This is, you know, how likely it is that it'll actually adjust the settings to the car that you're running the pit maneuver against to make it easier to pit. Okay, so this new use, na use native sections. If you, by default, Grammar Police will try to use Ultimate Backup or Stop the PED. Um, and, and now we'll actually try to use heli assistance if that's installed as well for air support. But you, you want to fine tune it and you're like, I want ultimate backup for everything, but I still want to run my own ped checks and plate checks through grammar police because they are a little bit different. You can do that. Um, so if you want, you, know, you can pick and choose which things. So use native means it'll use whatever grammar police does, which is typically through LSPDFR. Um, if they're set to false, it will try to use other third-party plugins first, like Ultimate Backup and Stop the Ped for those specific things. So if you want native code two, but Ultimate Backup code three, you could do that. And then you shouldn't really ever touch these advanced. Uh, technically, so there is a new logging level. Uh, zero is debug, which is just all the logging messages. So if everything's running stable and you're happy with Grammar Police and you don't ever need any support, you can set this to one and it will reduce the number of grammar police log entries and it's totally not going to hurt anything at all. Um, just know that if you are having problems and you do need support, uh, you're going to want this to be zero so that I can see all the messages and diagnose it. And if, and uh, you may need to turn this, you may need to change this if you've set it um, so we can see what's going on. But and that's it. Those are all the settings in Grammar Police. Uh, let me go into detail a little bit more on what I've showed you. Uh, here's that documentation folder I mentioned. Here's that GPU phrases. This document might change, but for now, this does contain a list of all the phrases for all the different agency codes. And here is that config file. Um, it contains a list of all the things we just talked about in detail. It is a great reference if you want to use, if you just want to see what the different settings mean. So we talked about those agency codes and let me show you in the grammar folder now, here are all the default folders that come with grammar police. So we talked about generic. So if you're using English, it doesn't matter if it's ENUS or ENGB. Um, I don't recommend ENAU or ENCA as we've seen problems with those, but Assuming you're using an English language, it will then look at that agency code, code setting and pick the appropriate folder. So generic is by you know the default one and it's got all the actions and commands. Um, but if you go to immersive, for example, um, 
it's got the same things, but it's going to have different uh, uh, 10 codes by default. So I don't know if there's an animal control. No, of course there isn't. So for example, if I want to be on a, a traffic stop uh, in using the immersive dispatch codes, it's uh, a 1011. So that might be different than, you know, California. But if you want to further customize these, you can. You're like, I like all of these, except I want my traffic to be different. So you would copy this XML out of the default and go into your custom actions and paste it in there. And you're like, no, th this should be a, a 10, 12. And now you've customized it. You don't want to remove phrases unless you don't want to use them. This is not additive. This is this replaces. So any custom XML files, that's what's going to be in there in the game. That's what's going to look for. But this will, oh, yeah. So we'd also want to do uh, twelve. So it, so effectively, what you've done now, if you uh, did this, you would still set your agency codes to immersive, and it would still have all the immersive dispatch codes, except you've further customized it to be ten twelve. And the nice thing about doing it this way is, again, future updates of Grammar Police won't overwrite your custom folders. So only the defaults. The other thing I wanted to show you was this interface. So based on the agency codes you pick or the language, uh, and unfortunately I don't think I have French yet and either still, but the German should be in German, which is nice. Uh, the in-game menu, that on-screen menu, you can control exactly what it looks like. So don't modify these, just like your default to I, you shouldn't modify these. You should create a custom. You should pick the one you want to modify. So let's just start with generic, copy and paste it, and rename it to custom. So it's a custom XML, that's it. And now this one we can edit, and you could you could say, you know, I want to create a whole different menu um, and name it whatever. You are going to make sure you get the XML correct. And I want to move code two and code three to that uh, menu. And when you bring it up in game, you know, you will have a new menu with those actions moved to it. Or, or you could say, I don't even want a request menu at all. Gone. Or I want this to say, it doesn't matter. Like this is completely, cut. you don't want to mess with the actions, of course, uh, but the text here and the layout of the menus and the menu names or, or, or well, you know, I want to remove these things. I want to keep those four, but I don't you can customize this however you want and it will update the menu, the control F3 menu in game. But again, make sure you use a custom, don't modify the defaults. So that's Grammar Police 1.5, how to install and configure. Um, if you have any questions or need any further support, please come to the Discord server and you can ask right there in the Grammar Police channel or you can open a ticket and someone should be able to help you out. Thanks.